guys, I'm Hillary. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanna talk about sex and how to make the most of it throughout your menstrual cycle. Yes even when you're on your period. Because here's the thing, guys, how we get turned on and what turns us on shifts depending on where we are in our cycle. No one really talks about this, but it is true. There are times over the course of your cycle where it's not gonna take much to get you in the mood and other times when it's gonna take more effort and you may not even wanna have sex at all, and that's okay. It has almost everything to do with shifting hormones and nothing to do with being weird or broken or some other negative emotion that we attach to um, low libido or a lack of desire. Despite what you may think or may have heard, it's extremely common for our sexual desire to ebb and flow depending on where we are in our cycle. And the more we acknowledge that, the better sex, whether it's with a partner or solo, we are going to have. With that being said, let's get into it, shall we? And I would definitely be remiss if I didn't encourage you to watch this video with your partner, if you have one, so that they can learn what makes you tick over the course of your cycle. Because when these buttons get pushed, trust me, everyone wins. Okay, so let's kick things off and talk about follicular phase sex. So just to recap, there are four phases of the menstrual cycle. The follicular phase, the ovulatory phase, the luteal phase, and the menstrual phase. The follicular phase occurs right after your period ends and leads up to ovulation. So this is the time in your cycle where you are starting to feel more energized. That fog that you feel during menstruation is lifting due to the rising concentration of hormones like estrogen and follicle stimulating hormone. These hormones are responsible for helping the eggs mature in the ovary. Foreplay is particularly important in this phase of your cycle to help boost the physical as well as mental desire for sex. Touching, massage, dirty talk, all of these things can help to get you in the mood. So in your follicular phase, your brain is primed for novelty and creativity. So another way to really get you in the mood, both physically and mentally, is to try new stimuli. So this is a great time to try new positions, um, new toys, incorporating novelty and newness into your regular routine. So something else you can incorporate to help boost your libido in your follicular phase is changing your diet up. So one food that you should add to your diet during your follicular phase to increase your sexual desire is honey. It's a natural aphrodisiac and it actually contains boron and nitric oxide Nitric oxide is actually something that is released naturally during arousal, so this is just going to enhance that experience and increase your desire for sex. Also, if you have a male partner, encourage him to eat celery. Celery actually releases a pheromone that is going to make your partner much, much more attractive to you, especially in your follicular phase. Okay guys, let's move on to talk about sex in your ovulatory phase. So your ovulatory phase rounds out that first half of your menstrual cycle. Your ovulatory phase culminates with the big event of your menstrual cycle, which is ovulation. Ovulation is when the egg is released from the ovary and travels to the uterus to potentially be fertilized and implanted. During this phase, estrogen and testosterone, the hormone that drives desire, are surging. So sex is likely to be top of mind. Naturally, you're going to be more interested in sex during this phase of your cycle, and your body responds in kind by producing more cervical fluid, which aids in lubrication. In other words, it won't take you as much time to get in the mood during this phase of your cycle, so it's a great time for quickies and spontaneity in the bedroom. Not to mention the fact that it's often much easier to reach climax during your ovulatory phase. This is all well and good, but beware. You're hornier because you're more fertile. So if you're not trying to get pregnant, make sure you're using protection. So in your ovulatory phase, some great foods to incorporate to help you get in the mood and stay there are figs and strawberries. So strawberries contain phytochemicals and antioxidants that promote hormone health, and figs contain a lot of fiber and potassium. Okay guys, let's talk about luteal phase sex. So your luteal phase follows ovulation and leads up right to the beginning of your period. Um, at this time, the hormones estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone are reaching their peak levels and then 
drop precipitously right before you begin to bleed. So your luteal phase is typically the longest of the four phases and the first half of your luteal phase, you'll probably still feel hot and ready for sex, but you still may need additional stimulation to reach climax. In the second half of your luteal phase, setting the mood and really building up to the big event matters. So have your partner lean on their romance skills to really woo you. Candles, flowers, love notes, making out, all that good stuff. So some foods that you can include in your diet during your luteal phase to boost your libido are foods like artichokes and asparagus. These foods contain aspartic acid, which has actually been shown to help boost libido and get rid of fatigue. Also, raw dark chocolate right around your period is great because it contains a whole lot of magnesium and this can really help to calm you down and get you in the mood. Okay guys, we've arrived, the piece de resistance. We are there, we are talking about menstrual phase sex. So yes, you can have sex when you're on your period and it doesn't have to be messy, it's not dirty, so just get that out of your head. During the menstrual phase of your cycle, your hormones reach their lowest concentrations and what this means is there is more stimulation between the right and left hemispheres of your brain. So what this means is you are best equipped to be able to take how you feel about a situation and the facts of that situation and decide what course to take. So this is the time of our cycle when our powers of intuition are the most heightened. And for that reason, there may be a desire to withdraw and sex might not be something you even wanna think about at all, which is totally fine. However, some folks actually report higher levels of sexual desire when they're on their period due to increased fluid pressure in the pubic and pelvic region. So if you are hot to trot during your menstrual phase, be sure to use plenty of lubrication because despite the fact that you're bleeding, you're actually not producing as much natural lubrication. And just some practical tips for having less messy period sex. Invest in dark colored sheets for your bed. Invest in a waterproof mattress pad. Use tampons or a menstrual cup so that there's less liquid to contend with. And then the old tried and true, have sex in the shower. So even if you're not down for menstrual phase sex and you don't really like the idea of traditional partner sex during this phase of your cycle, I would definitely encourage you to consider the pain relieving benefits of orgasm. So orgasms can actually help to relieve cramping and other symptoms that you experience during your menstrual phase. So that being said, your menstrual phase may be a great time for solo sex or side-by-side -side masturbation. So last but certainly not least, a great food to incorporate into your diet during your menstrual phase that helps promote healthy testosterone levels and therefore a healthy and strong libido during your menstrual phase is avocados. And I would definitely be remiss not to mention a food group that's going to help support your libido all menstrual cycle long. Those are spicy foods. So spicy foods are vasodilators, which means that they help to open up the veins and increase circulation. They get the blood pumping a little faster, the heartbeat racing a little bit more, which can only help to increase libido. And there you have it, guys. Uh, ways to increase your libido um, and have great sex all menstrual cycle long. Let me know in the comments, did you learn something new? Did something surprise you? I would love to know what you thought of this video so definitely leave those comments below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it widely, and be sure to let me know if there are other topics about sex, periods, the menstrual cycle that you would like me to cover in future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future video content. And as I always like to say at the end of each video, Here's to taking periods public one point blank conversation at a time.